Unit Five. Listen and read. Tim, Tim, are you home? Yes, Mom. I'm in the living room. What is it, Mom? I went to your school today, and Miss Jackson gave me your report card. Oh, is it a good report? Don't worry, it's excellent. You did very well. May I see the report? Sure. I'm proud of you, Tim. I know you worked really hard this semester. Thanks, Mom. But there's one thing you need to improve. What's that, Mom? Miss Jackson said you should work harder on your Spanish pronunciation. She asked me to give you this dictionary. Yes, I know. Some of the Spanish sounds are really hard. I'll try my best to improve them. I believe you can do it, Tim. Listen. Unit five. Study habits. Listen and read. Tim, Tim, are you home? Yes, mom. I'm in the living room. What is it, mom? I went to your school today, and Miss Jackson gave me your report card. Oh, is it a good report? Don't worry, it's excellent. You did very well. May I see the report? Sure. I'm proud of you, Tim. I know you worked really hard this semester. Thanks, mom. But there's one thing you need to improve. What's that, mom? Miss Jackson said you should work harder on your Spanish pronunciation. She asked me to give you this dictionary. Yes, I know. Some of those Spanish sounds are really hard. I'll try my best to improve them. I believe you can do it, Tim. Read. Language learners learn words in different ways. Some learners make a list. And put into it the meanings of new words in their mother tongue, and try to learn them by heart. However, others do not. Instead, they write one or two example sentences with each new word in order to remember how to use the word in the right way. In order to remember words better, some learners even write each word and its use on a small piece of paper, and stick it somewhere in their house so as to learn it at any time. Many language learners do not try to learn all new words they come across. They usually underline or highlight only the words they want to learn. This helps them remember important words. There are also different ways of learning the same number of words. For example, if you try to learn ten words in two days, you can do so in two ways. You can learn the first five words the first day, and then learn the other five the next day. However, because revision is necessary, you can learn all the ten words the first day and revise them the next day. This helps you practice the words more times. Language learners should try different ways of learning words so as to find out the best way for themselves. Ask yourself the question: How should I learn words? Unit Five. Study habits. Read. Different language learners learn words in different ways. Some learners make a list and put into it the meanings of new words in their mother tongue, and try to learn them by heart. However, others do not. Instead, they write one or two example sentences with each new word. In order to remember how to use the word in the right way, in order to remember words better, some learners even write each word and its use on a small piece of paper and stick it somewhere in their house so as to learn it at any time. Many language learners do not try to learn all new words they come across. They usually underline or highlight only the words they want to learn. This helps them remember important words. Learners do not only learn the meanings of new words, but also how to spell and pronounce them, so as to use them in both writing and speaking. There are also different ways of learning the same number of words. 
For example, if you try to learn 10 words in two days, you can do so in two ways. You can learn the first five words the first day and then learn the other five the next day. However, because revision is necessary, you can learn all the ten words the first day and revise them the next day. This helps you practice the words more times. Language learners should try different ways of learning words so as to find out the best way for themselves. Ask yourself the question, how should I learn words?